Hey there, my name is Marta Yortsoy and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Jupiter First Church. I'm really glad that you are here and that we get to spend some time together in the Big God Story. I want you to raise your hand if you like cleaning bathrooms. Do you think anyone likes cleaning bathrooms? How about changing diapers? Who would like to volunteer to help out in the church nursery and change all the poopy diapers? Do you ever think that your loved ones arm wrestled over who got to change your diapers when you were little? In our lives, we will all do hard things, even really yucky things, and a lot of them we will do without being paid for it. Why might people do hard and yucky things? Well, they do them out of love. Today we are going to dig into Jesus' teaching on loving others, even when it is difficult. Before our story, though, let's pray. Merciful God, you call us to show your love to everyone, not just the people we like. Help us love others, even when it is difficult, and remind us to be kind as you are kind. Amen. Today we are going to read a story from the Bible about something that all of us can relate to, how we treat our enemies, and how we treat those who are mean to us. This story comes from the book of Luke. Luke is in the New Testament, and it is a gospel. Gospels are the books that tell us the good news about Jesus. There are four of them in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This is Jesus' teaching on love your enemies. Jesus taught people everywhere about God. Jesus' teachings were different from what people had heard before. This made people curious about what Jesus had to say. One day, Jesus was talking about how to treat your enemies. Jesus said, if someone hurts you, don't hurt them back. Wow! That was different. Then Jesus said, if someone asks you for help, say sure. People hadn't always thought like that before. And remember to share what you have with other people, he said. Hmm. Jesus had people thinking. Then Jesus said a very important thing. Everyone says, love your friends and hate your enemies. I say, love your enemies and pray for people who are mean to you. This is what really makes God happy. The things Jesus said changed the way people thought about treating others. What do you think? Can people love their enemies? What about turning the other cheek? Do you think this means people should get away with bullying or hurting others? No, it doesn't mean that at all. We should always tell a safe adult when someone is being hurt or bullied. Sometimes we have to stay a safe distance away from people, even if we try to continue loving them. But I think it does mean that pe when people are mean to us, we should not be mean to them as revenge. Do you ever fight with your siblings or maybe friends? If someone smacks us, what do most of us want to do back? Well, we usually want to smack them harder. And then the other person smacks us harder back. That can go on for a long time, and usually it doesn't have a happy ending. Jesus asks us to do difficult things in love, including not getting back at others and choosing to go above and beyond to help others. So here's the challenge. We learned about the difficult things Jesus expects his followers to try to do. We heard about turning the other cheek, loving our enemies, and more. Do you think you're up for this with Jesus' help? I am, and I hope you are too. Let's pray as we close our time together. Jesus, you gave us some really challenging instructions on living out our faith. You told us if someone strikes us on one cheek to offer the other. You told us to love our enemies. And if someone takes our coat, you told us to give them our clothes as well. Help us to do these difficult things in love. Amen. Thanks for joining me for another adventure in the Big God Story. I hope you have a great week loving others well, and I hope to see you real soon.